Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick -em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. Also. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Good stick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, spinning back this. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Straight punch lands. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Under three minutes remain in round one. Oh, nice jab. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. I need you to pay attention. Protect yourself. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, huge leg kick to that lead leg. Big knee to the body. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice takedown defense there from Krilov. Ooh, what a punch. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the wrist. Whoa! He's hurt. He's hurt. Well, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down the opponents that are move out of harm's way. The referee's going to stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, Put his feet on the hip, push him away. Round two coming up next. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, He's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Ready to fight. Ready. Second round on the way. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations, team. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice stupid punch. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that. And both guys really throwing with a four. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Well, no! What a to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. No. Oh! 
right, Muay Thai clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nice straight punch. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Now he's got the Muay Thai plot. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking run early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. He's very tricky to throw that body kick. How about that chin? Cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he caught the kick. Nice strike. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jack. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton. How about oh, those God. five minutes? Marsha, right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Tonight, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. What a oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big kick lands. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, a little single collar tie there. She splits the guard, lands the right hand. Judges out of it. He is lighting him up now. All right, getting late in the fight. It has been all action to this point as we go down. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. My triangle, my triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the And he's out. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. 
Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored this contest for 9-28. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Nikita Congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.